coming to you live from the Oklahoma State Fair Exposition Center. We're gonna go check out the RV show here. It's the biggest one in Oklahoma. Uh, probably not nearly as big as the Florida Tampa Bay one that I just saw some videos on, but we'll check this one out, see what kind of RVs and gear they have, and any uh, improvements for the 2022 camping season. First order of business since I skipped lunch today. And there was nothing along the highway. I'm gonna check out the uh, food stand here. Stock up on some uh, sustenance before we start touring the RV show. This is one of my absolute favorite trailers that just came out, I think what, a couple years ago. Uh, these Black Series trailers. This is the HQ-17. Uh, dual axles, I've been trying to look for a data plate on it just to get some specs on the weight and things like that, haven't seen anything. But this is the utility slot aside up at the front. You've got a full pass through to the other side. And you've got your uh, 120 volt electrical cabinet in here, your 30 amp plug-in, your hot water and furnace exhaust. Looks like either a, a black tank flush or a city port. And I believe all of these are lockable uh, water ports. Right here you've got an external shower and these great rub rails right here. Two spare tires full size. Under the bottom here is your black tank flush, black and gray tank, license plate mount, and you've also got a trailer hitch right here so you can add, uh, add a bike rack or something. These windows are great. Love this trailer. So just from the outside on the other side, the curbside, you've got an awning up top. It comes with this screen door. Keep the bugs out. Some nice aluminum steps. So walking inside, this one is a front bed. Looks probably probably about a twin, maybe a little bit bigger. We've got an articulating TV right here up at the front, right next to the galley. Let's check out the galley. Looks like you've got a water purifier, two burner stove. And there's your sink. Screened in here and it looks like a drop down shade. There's your blackout shade right there. Yeah, that's gotta be a water purifier. Some storage above the galley. You got your vent fan, that's interesting. There's an exhaust fan on this one. Right here you've got an emergency exit. Probably pops open for some ventilation. Nice little dinette for two. Oh, you probably set four people there. And this is one of the coolest thing. Uh, the coolest things I love about this trailer is like it's command center. This is like straight out of NASA. You've got all your controls on the wall right here. This one comes with a microwave and a giant fridge freezer. This thing is, you could fit so much in here. It's one of the largest I've seen. Now, I don't know if this front dinette converts into another sleeping area. It does look like it's on a telescopic pole, but um, I can't tell. And in the back here, you've got two bunks. That's awesome. Additional storage on the side here, the curbside. Push open. Look 
Great spot. If you got some, some little ones, let's check out the bath. It's pretty large. So you got, it looks like a wet bath. You've got an exhaust up here. And then a sink. That's the, the big thing that I think is missing in the base camp. I know it's uh, trying to maximize space, but it definitely would be helpful to have a sink in the bathroom. Looks like a speaker right there, and then there's your, your furnace. I got some more storage down here in the galley. And there's all your, there's, it looks like your water pump and all your water lines underneath. So it's probably not usable space, but nice nonetheless. And then here's some more storage as well. But overall, a really, really cool trailer. 68,000. So it's about 12,000 more than the base camp but you do get a lot more room. So it looks like two propane system. Another um, just great outdoor feature here in the front is you've got racks to put fuel cans or water cans. So if you wanna bring additional water and or fuel, you can bring that as well. And then truly off-road, it's got an articulating hitch right here. So that's a special hitch you'd have to put on your tow vehicle, but it goes up and down, left and right. So if you hit any big holes, you're not going to ruin your your hitch but i'd love some comments if anybody has one of these how it's treating you so far because again it looks extremely badass i'd love to see what the, the quality feedback is this is the hq15 similar setup now on the other one these two side areas were were locked up but it looks like you've got that pass through right there and then an outside kitchen area comes with another stove, another galley sink, and then this little prep table right here. That's removable. More setup with the 17, but I love this model a lot more because you, when they pulled out the bunk area here that was in the 17, now you've actually got a more expansive bathroom. So you've got your shower, and you've got an external sink, and then toilet, and then even more storage up here. Yeah, the hardware in here is, is much nicer too. This thing is great. Let's check out the Black Series 21 edition. I think this is the largest one they have here at the, sh at the uh, RV show. Starting out here, got this nice extendable out there kitchen. Galley here, two burner stove. This is very similar. So this is Dometic. I had this on my older camper, um, but it didn't come with this windscreen right here, which is awesome. This looks like a uh, nice little preparation area here. Folds up. Folds up for storage. This little slide out uh, utensil drawer here, cup holders. So there's a few folks inside. I'll just go over the specs real quick, see if that'll come into focus. But uh, the net weight is 7,242 pounds, so not too bad. I could tow that with most half-ton trucks or some V8 SUVs. So this one's got an uh, AGM battery, 400 amp hours, and then it's got four 150 watt solar panels. Tank sizes on this. Fresh water, 64 gallons. Gray tank, 26 gallons. And black water tank is 26 gallons. So not, not too dissimilar from, from the base camp. However, that fresh water capacity is like three times the base camp. On the driver's side, here is your drinking water and general water. So it looks like it's got two different tanks. And like again, I think that's a black water flush or flush just one of the tanks. A 
30 amp service here. And then again, that's same with the other models that full pass through storage cabinet is, is awesome. I mean, just <laughs> look at the suspension on this thing. It's insane. Here's your uh, gray and black water. Well, look at that. That is insane. All right, so the 21 is definitely the way to go. Um, I'm sold. So the, here, the, the, this is like a queen size mattress in the rear with this partition door to give you some added privacy. Really great LED mood lighting in here. Nice windows and storage cabinets up top. You've got this hatch up here at the roof, which is probably your emergency escape hatch. You've got some reading lights right above the bed, an additional storage there, another speaker. You've got a TV on an articulating mount. Nice windows, some storage cabinets above the bed. These poor floor models get abused. So in the 21, you get a separate shower. It's not a wet bath, separate shower on the driver's side. Again, with the upgraded hardware, sprayer hose. Now I don't see an on off valve for this one. So you may have to upgrade that shower head if you want to conserve water. But that's the thing with the black series in the 64 gallon fresh tank, you're not gonna have to fill that up all that often. Exhaust fan up top, and then right across from it is the separate water closet. So these are cool. It's just a touch light. You've got a magnification mirror here, a nice deep sink. Another mirror, and then some storage above the sink. I love the flooring in here. So I'll, I'll be honest though, the wood here does just, it doesn't feel solid. It feels like it's kind of like fake wood, uh, but you do get a microwave. And again, they went all out on the size of the refrigerator freezers in these things. This is almost like, it's about as close as you can get to a uh, residential fridge. Some more storage. You've got an upgraded uh, stovetop and oven in the 21. On the 21, you get this three burner propane stove with glass top and a nice open window to view outside. Some more storage above, nice big galley sink. And then finally this nice U-shape seating area. And like all the other black series, you've got the command center up here with all your controls. Also comes with another TV here in the seating area.